Hi, this is Jill with Quick Flicks, and today what I'm going to be working on is making centerpieces using this beautiful little smiley face here. Right now the program that I have open is the ClippingMagic.com. I've done numerous videos on this, but for this particular one I'm going to show you from the beginning to the end. All I want is his face. His name is Manny, and it's his first birthday, and... I am going to be making centerpieces using, whoops, didn't mean to zoom out there, um, using just his precious little face. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove everything that I don't. I've got my red highlighted here because I'm going to remove everything I don't want. And then I'm going to take my green and I'm going to go over what I do want. And that's just pretty simple. And let's see here. I'm going to change my background over here so you can see as I do it. Let me zoom in a little bit more and do a little bit more here so I can catch in his little cheeks. And I can go back and remove what I don't want. I've already got this done, but I'm just showing you how I did his face. And using the Clippy Magic, which in the beginning I wasn't real sure, I was real skeptical as whether I liked it or not because I thought it was very, very difficult to use. Um, it is not difficult to use. It is very, 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 very easy. However, um, it just takes a little bit. You know, the first time I used it, I thought it was difficult, but it's like anything. You just have to get used to doing it. It's the same thing with the, the um, Cameo software. It, until you know how to use it, it can appear to be difficult when it really isn't. Right here, the reason I'm having to go back and forth is because I don't want his neck in the in the image. However, because it's the same skin tone pretty much, when I try and remove it, it's removing. There we go. Now I got it how I want it. I'm happy with that. Um, if you zoom in, I could take a little bit more off. But since I've already done it, I'm just giving you the... Uh, the results on how you do it. I've already have the image done. This program you can do and use if you want to do a screenshot. However, I found when I do a screenshot, it's blurry. So I went ahead and purchased uh, the program. You don't purchase the program. You actually just subscribe and for $3.99 a month I get to do, I believe it's 10 downloads. I've never ever gone over 10. Then there's the next one is might be $5.99 for 20 downloads. Um, I have a whole library, whoops, didn't mean to do that either. I have a whole library of images, and I'm going to exit out of this because I've already got it done. And here's images that I've done, and I've got pages and pages of different images I have, have used. Um, particularly what I find is really nice is when I'm doing photos, when I want to take the background out of photos. This is an awesome program. It called again, it's called clippingmagic.com.com. And again, I pay $3.99 a month for oh, here's the price, and let me see what it says. Light is $3.99 a month for 15 downloads. $7.99. Well, come on. $7.99 is for 100 downloads a month. And $14.99 is 500 downloads a month. I never have gone over 15. I don't use it that often. If I ever got to that point, even for $7.99 a month, I would pay that. But I paid the $3.99 for unused credits roll over. Oh, unused credits roll over. I didn't know that. No matter, and that probably would be why some months I don't have, or feel like I do over 10 and I've never billed extra, is because they roll over. That's pretty sweet. I have no right now. I'm not going to go um, in to find out where it shows how many credits I have in my account because it doesn't matter. Let me go into my silhouette, and I had pulled different images of Superman. His name is Manny, and what I did is I took Superman logo and I add the NY to the end. I'm going to break it apart and I'm going to show you how I did that. What I first did is I cut off the N on the Superman. I cut off the N 
actually, before I did that, I duplicated, duplicated it and cut it off. And then I went in and added the second N and made it a little smaller. Then this box here, what I did is it's in three sections. I, I'm going to zoom in here. I had cut off the top of one of these so I could get the color that I needed. And I'm going to duplicate this so I can put it together as I go. And there was the N. I'm going to kind of push that in so you can't see where I cut it. And then I took and took my knife and cut off the top here so that I could add on my Y. And I just laid it there. And then I went and made a box and I outlined it and colored it the color of this, the orange like the rest of the pieces here. Then the box in the center, I used the gradient up here in the black. And then I took another piece of orange and put that on the bottom because these, if you look real close here, these at the bottom are dark orange and at the top are the black. Now this does not look perfect. Oh, and I also cut the top off on a slant because I wanted it getting smaller. And then when I wedged it in there, I, whoops, oh, I already got my second end in there. And I'm going to have to drag this one, make it a little bit bigger and a little bit longer. And let me see, I had cut it down. And let's see. Mouse batteries are low. You see that, guys? My mouse batteries are low. I wonder why. Whoops, grabbed the wrong piece. Then I added my Y in there. Um, you can kind of get the idea of what, I do, uh, what, what I've done, what I did, how I made it. Um, I, I'm not going to start from scratch because I already have it done. And I've got a lot of work to do today and trying to get some videos up here. So anyway, that was how I did it. And you can see the results on this one. And let me go back up here. Then what I did, I'm going to zoom out. I took three different images of Superman. And let me take his face off. Whoops. There was the first image. And then I just put his face over it. And then this was an image that I got of superheroes on Etsy that was more baby-like. This one I actually cut his head off because I couldn't get it. Uh, the head was really big, and I couldn't get it to cover down in the neck area, so I just cut it off completely. And then what I did with the Superman and all three of them, I put it on top. And then on this one, pretty much the same thing. There's the head, and there's the Superman. And I just, again, just put it on top and added this. And then I'm going to go and show you how they came out. It's a pretty simple thing to do. Again, you need the clipping magic so you can get just the face. And... When you're going to put a face on an image, the easiest way to do it is to make sure that the image you're working with is a straight-on shot. Um, if you start working with profiles, then you have to find an image that's a profile. And it's, you know, the simpler the image is and the straight-on shot is the easiest it is and the results are the absolute best. So I'm going to show you uh, the results and I'll be right back. Hi, I'm back again. Okay, I'm going to show you the pieces done now. Um, the first one here, these are only single sided because when I did the Super Manny, if I made them double sided, he would be backwards on the back. And um, the place, the table that they're going on is going to be up against a wall anyway, so it's not, it doesn't matter if it's not double-sided uh, I, but I still put a white back on it I cut an I cut an uh, offset so that I still have a background on it and I put some glitter underneath the super Manny and I put the glossy Ranger accent glossy accents to make his eyes real real glossy and pop out because he's got great big brown eyes that pop out anyway the first one and here's the second one, which was the one that was more catered to a baby. And I did the same thing. I put the glitter underneath the Superman-y. 
and the glossy in his eyes and I also did glitter a little bit of glitter outline on the front of the outfit um, just to kind of give it a party party effect that was the second one and I ended up doing two of him and then here is the third one again I did the glitter underneath the super mani and the glossy in the eyes but I think they came out absolutely adorable I'm going to take some pictures so you can see some close-ups of them but they're only one foot pieces and um, he's having two birthday parties and the second one theme is going to be pirates so I'm going to be doing a pirate ship and a pirate um, I may check and see this is actually my great nephew I'm going to check with my niece to see because I may do his face on the pirate since these came out so cute I may end up doing that pick a different image um, one party's in New York and one party's going to be here with their family. Um, somebody keeps asking me because a few videos ago I had gone out on a shopping spree and I was going to show everybody what I got. Some new things that had come out and I never did show and I put the stuff away and I'd forgotten half of the stuff that I had gotten. So I am going to show you real quickly. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it. One thing is that I did pick up is at Michael's were these big seashells because I absolutely love on my Little Mermaid or any of my uh, centerpieces that I do that are in the sea I love to add shells but the shells I always add are really really tiny I found these big ones at Michael's and I absolutely love them so that was one thing and these are nice to have on hand if you like to add a lot of uh, textures and, and fibers and things like that to your centerpieces these are a great accent on under the seat type centerpieces. Um, another thing I got is these, which I have been using for my displays. Somebody asked me about that. Uh, they make great displays, but that is not what I bought them for. I am making cone, square cone shape, um, popcorn like popcorn or like that you can put popcorn in, but they're cones, but they're square. And they're going to be going in here and they're for a baby shower and they're going to be decorated in owls. I'm going to be doing owl branches with owls that would be the, the mommy, the daddy, and the baby girl. Uh, I will be videotaping that because I'm going to be using tree branches and leaves in, in all sorts of different bright colors. And then the cones. There'll be four of them. But I was using these on my display. I got them online and I can't remember where I got them. However, if you type in Google search, square cone holders these will come up and I think I paid like $4.89 or something I can't remember they weren't cheap but now I'm going to order some more so I have some I've gotten four of them and I absolutely love them they're great for displays so if anybody likes to even if at a party if you have your centerpieces in front of like a cake or whatever to use this type of thing as a display works really awesome because they hold any size of the centerpieces. I love them. I'm going to order more. The other thing that I had gotten was the Martha Stewart Circle Punch. And I got a couple punches here and I'm going to show you how this works. I think it's awesome. Of course you can do all of this on your silhouette, but um, I don't always like to do absolutely everything on my silhouette when it comes to scrapbooking. Some things I just, I like to, I have all the punches and I really enjoy them. This is a magnet here and all you do is stick your paper on it and the magnet will automatically stick to it and so you just pick, stick, uh, punch it and when you turn it, it will lock in place for your next punch. So there's no guessing and no guide to follow. Whoops, I didn't do that one right. I made, I told you that, and then I didn't do it right. I didn't turn it till it stopped. So, and this is all done magnetically. And I probably didn't grab the right sheet of paper either because I'm going off the edge. No, oh, I didn't go off the edge. There's a shot. But I started out wrong because I wasn't turning it. You can feel it. You don't have to lift this magnet up. You can feel it turn. And you don't have to guess where this piece goes because it automatically locks in place where it needs to go. <laughs> now that I said that, it's not. Again, user issue. 
I get to to uh, try and go too fast, and that's can't do that. Got to slow it, slow it down. I always go too fast because I got so much to do. And today was one of those days. Um, my niece that's here from Colorado and my daughter and my grandkids all went to go horseback riding. They went zip lining yesterday and they went horseback riding today. And I stayed behind because I'm getting behind on my work. So I said, you guys go ahead and go and I'll stay home. No need to think about me. So I'm at home playing, not playing, I'm working, but there we go. And again, I started this wrong um, because I was in too much of a hurry. But it's really cool to make circle images like this. And you can adjust how big you want your circle by using this. The mistake I made when I first got it is I thought these punches just did the circle. And so I ordered just the punch. And when I got when I got it, I spent forever trying to figure out how in the heck am I supposed to do that? And then I went online and looked and looked and looked for a video trying to find out what I was supposed to be doing. And then I realized I was missing a very vital part, which is this. So don't make the same mistake as I did. Um, you do have to have both pieces to do it. Um, these are the punches that I got. This, this circle one that I just did. Then I got this one. This is what the circle looks like. And then it came with one that I haven't cut out here, so I don't really know what that looks like. Uh, when I do my when I do my scrapbook pages, which Kelly, I'm going to be doing um, soon. I keep I keep promising, I keep threatening. I'm going to do some scrapbook pages, and I haven't gotten there yet. But again, I have just been so incredibly busy with the kids out of school for the summer, and with Kendall and everything. I just, you know, I'm barely staying above water, so. I'm doing the best I can. There's only so many hours in a day. I think I was shorted actually, but I think that is so cool the way it does that. Love it. And then you could add, this would be so cute to put a picture for scrapbooking in, in these different, oh, here's one how they did it, it's a banner. Oh, I'm gonna have to put a banner up. I'm gonna have to do a banner. How cute for a happy birthday banner. Well, you know what though, as much work as that would be, that's not gonna be something I'm gonna add my shop because I'd have to charge an arm and a leg take me forever to do it. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I'll take some pictures and the next video will be on some more of the Michael Kors, Kors purses. Thank you.